moving on to <clears throat> social engineering. So social engineering, right, is just the attackers trying to manipulate users into uh, performing an action or something with some type of malicious intent, right? And there's many different tools in their toolbox that they use for this, <clears throat> some of which include phishing, which most people are uh, familiar with, but right, that's an attacker sending a fraudulent email or message or web link to try to trick someone into providing some sensitive information like a password or credit card number. Uh, spear phishing is a more targeted version of uh, phishing where the attacker customizes that uh, um, uh, link or email or phishing email for a very specific individual in an organization. Uh, vishing, that's voice-based uh, phishing where the attackers use a phone call to trick the individuals into sharing sensitive data. <laughs> so they might pose as a, a bank official, a tech support agent, or another role to just try to gain trust of whoever they're targeting. Uh, similar to that, pretexting, so the attacker creates a fabricated scenario um, to obtain information from the target. For instance, they might pose as an HR representative to get personal information about employee that they can then use to move up into either <clears throat> more targeted vishing or spear phishing attacks. Uh, and then on the line, baiting, tailgating, uh, or, or piggybacking, as some would say, where they try to <clears throat> gain entry to a restricted area, right? Or quizzing, right? So everyone's heard that. You know, you get on Facebook, you play these quizzes, and really it's just a, a data discovery tool for them to gain personal information about you, right? So they can start to build that profile to then <clears throat> have more personal information to target uh, you and your uh, employees with. So what are the factors for making individuals susceptible to social engineering, right? <laughs> so think about this uh, authority. So people tend to comply with requests uh, from figures of authority uh, or simply wearing like a um, one of those yellow vests when you go on site, right? No one's going to question someone with an orange vest or a or a safety vest. Uh, if or a commitment, if someone commits to an idea or an action, they're more likely to follow through. So as they're baiting and pretexting, <clears throat> uh, when they get that buy off from that uh, individual to click on a link or go to a website or give them a password, uh, using that uh, attack of commitment helps to uh, make sure that they follow through. Or people are easily persuaded by others whom they like. So as they're uh, targeting individuals using whatever behavioral or psychological traits they can to make people like them, um, they're more likely to comply. <clears throat> the other one is scarcity, right? Uh, when users get an email and it says, hey, I'm, I'm the CEO, I need you to go uh, get these gift cards uh, right now because we're going to get this big deal or do you, you need to wire this money to this account uh, within the next uh, 20 minutes or there's only a limited amount of people that are going to be able to click on this link and get this free gift card. Uh, using those type of tactics are actually quite effective and uh, social proof, right? So people often look at others to decide what action they should take uh, in like unfamiliar situations, right? So uh, they get a link and says, hey, 50 people just bought this product and you should click here and you get this, uh, you get this prize, right? <clears throat> so it's really social engineering is, is targeting that human centric nature uh, of how humans behave, right? So <clears throat> a lot of times those uh, technical defenses, they don't prevent all those attacks, right? We need to train the users to become aware so they are equipped, you know, with the knowledge and skills to recognize and resist social engineering tactics. Any questions or comments? Anything I missed? Give you some quick stats here. So 
really the, the cyber attackers are targeting your employees. This is a low risk, high reward focus for these attackers. Having a robust uh, security and awareness training component is critical for your overall cybersecurity program. Uh, and just some quick stats here. Uh, Cisco in 2021 reported that 90% of breaches are linked to a phishing attack. 98% uh, of attacks use some component of social engineering. And 96% of all phishing attacks use email.